Are you not gonna look up until the video starts? I will later. <laughs> hey you guys, it's Peter and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. I don't have my fan or anything. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> An example of stoicism. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Okay, so we are on vacation, hi. I'm Peter, in case you didn't know. In case you just happened upon this channel that you've never watched before and you thought, I think I'm going to watch um, yet yeah, the 496th uh, episode of Peter and Alex doing a Q&A. <laughs> Why didn't you leave the sunglasses on? You didn't like them? Did you say action yet? I said action a long time ago. <laughs> So we are on vacation, we are in Mexico, um, and while we're on vacation, we try to do a Q&A often. And so, <clears throat> I had a friend of mine that posted- People's choice. <laughs> People's choice. Um, should, we, should we guess, if we, did a, we didn't do a Q&A this time. We're actually gonna answer some questions that um, a friend of mine, it was like a quiz that she posted on Facebook. It was like, ask your significant other these questions. Yeah, and so true. Kama Sutra? <laughs> you don't even know the question. Kama Sutra question. Okay, no, it wasn't Kama Sutra questions, but that's for a different site and a different video. But anyway, the... the Pafit. <laughs> Pafit is what he thinks I should start my OnlyFans. Call it Peter's Feet, Pafit. Anyway, um, so we usually do a QA and a and the questions that we always get is like, you know, like, we don't want kids, we would make great dads, and... Um, on and on and on. We've answered so many questions on Q&A's that, what are the other questions that we get consistently? Um, I don't know. So many, just, just scroll through any time that you see my face. <laughs> if you have a question. It's we'll usually always, I, I usually yeah. always take the moment when Alex like has something in his eye, he looks like he's gonna cry and I go like that and then I say like our marriage is in trouble and then people like bolt over that video. So when people say, uh, you know, Peter, you always clickbait. On those videos, I do typically click page. On those videos, I do. do you, are you not confident that like my performance will attract people on its own? Sweetheart, I love you, but no. Okay, so we have our water right here. I just think that people, you know, are so invested in our love. Okay, so anyway, I uh, got these questions off the Facebook. Now, I've only read the first couple of them. This is not how I wanted to start this video at all. The way that I wanted to start this video was I wanted to go, hello, hello, hello. I wasn't going to flip a fan. I wasn't going to sing a song. I was just going to, like, relax into it. But you know what? We've been in bed for the last half an hour. No. <laughs> Not all that. We have been watching clips from The Real Housewives of Atlanta over the years, and so we're kind of in a shady mood, so I have no idea how this video is going to go. In fact, I have a feeling that he's going to be a little shady in this video. But some of the questions are very sweet. Most of the questions are very sweet and endearing. So should we get to them? Are you ready? I've been ready. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. What's something... We're gonna, now, I'm going to ask the question, and then you're going to answer it, and then I'm going to answer it. It's how the game goes, okay? Sure. What's something I say a lot? Can you even imagine? <laughs> I do say that a lot, actually. Like, and it's like something that, like, yes, I, I, yeah, I could imagine. Like, give an example. Like, can you imagine if we, like, having, like, a million dollars in a home and, like, all this stuff? Can you even imagine? Yeah, I can even imagine. Or something that, like, already happened, like... Can you even imagine like jumping in the shower and the water is hot, but then it's not hot? Can you even imagine that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember the last time that I said having a million dollars and having a big home, because that's not on my dream list. I think people are living a simple life. What's something that you say a lot? Like. I say like a lot too, but we must both say that. What's interesting about Alex is that he has like three different voices. He has his voice with me, well, four different voices. He has his voice with me, his voice with Boo, his voice with his girlfriends on the phone, and then he has his business voice. And his business voice is very serious. What's so, my voice with Boo? With Boo? Well, you're just very sweet and gentle to him and stuff like that. Mm. What's something that you say a lot? Okay, something that he says a lot. It's not like specifically the same thing, but like if I say something, um... <laughs> like, my stomach's hurting. He'll go, oh, my stomach's hurting. He, like, repeats and makes fun of, like, things I say. Or, like, I'm really tired. And he'll go, oh, I'm really tired. <laughs> I don't do that. You absolutely, you just did it last night. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. He's a liar. 
Okay, what is something that makes me sad? This person on here put work. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, me too. <laughs> what's something that makes me sad? Uh, the past. Well, what's specifically about the past? Some things about the past make me happy. Yeah, that's true. Um, the loss of our pets. Yeah. Your family, the loss of your, like, mom. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's something that makes you sad? Nothing. No, this is gonna be my clip from my video. <laughs> my thumbnail, no. What's something that makes Alex sad? Well, I mean, there's, like, kind of the typical things that make you sad. Mm-hmm. Whenever we talk about my Aunt Kathy and like past from that, you get really upset. Specifically when we talk about the dog's passing. Yeah. It's kind of different like when we talk about Tucker versus Pee Pee, but like whenever we talk about Pee Pee, you get very, very sad. Yeah. Tucker, I think, is fresher and newer. Mm hmm. Um, yeah. But you're really great about, like, I get sad about Boo, like, wondering how long he's going to be here and being worried about that. And you're like, just live in the present. That's my goal for 2024 is to live in the present. And, um, and I'm doing really good this trip, don't you think, on that? Yeah. yeah. So he's really good about that. Like, hey, listen, like, Boo's doing great. Let's just live in the moment for that. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. You're welcome. What is something else that makes you sad? Being broke. <laughs> well, that would make us all sad, I think. Yeah. Okay, what's my favorite thing to do? Nap. <laughs> and your favorite thing to do is... Shop. Shop? Or brunch. Your favorite thing, no. Your favorite thing to do is, so our refrigerator is, I, I have a pure water thing. He has a pure water, like, container. Diet Cokes for me, Cokes for him. And then the rest is leftovers from his dinners that he's had. And his favorite thing to do is watch an episode of a show on the couch in his Ugg robe and heat up some leftover food. That's like your favorite thing. Or no, 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 hold on a second. His favorite thing in the entire world is to roll through one TikTok after another. And right now, it's driving me nuts. It's the nanny, okay? We went through Friends, and then Friends was Will and Grace, and now we're onto the nanny. He never even watched the nanny originally. Yeah, I did. You did back in the day? I just yeah. it the other day. And I said yes. <laughs> I was like, you're far in it, because they're married. <laughs> My favorite thing to go to music festival. Music festivals, yeah. Okay, um, how tall am I? Four feet. How tall am I? Five nine. I'm five ten. Well, I was off by an inch. Well, I always say that you're, <laughs> you usually are. <laughs> I always say that you're six one and you say you're six foot. I'm six foot. But okay, because like, Fufu's taller than you. We're the same height. No, he's a little bit taller than you. Okay. Carlos is a lot shorter than you. How tall is Carlos? I don't know. Five, five? Five, nine, eight. He is not that close. I don't know. I don't measure people. But you and Fufu are very close. And Fufu said he was six foot. And I was like, if he's six foot, then you're five eleven. Which makes me about five eight. And I know I'm not five eight. Okay. Right. What do I do when you're not around? And this person said, wish I was there. <laughs> well, be married for 12 years and let's see what the answer is. Um, well, he naps, and then he makes YouTube videos, and then he talks to Boo nonstop. Yeah. Um, what do you do when I'm not around? You do facials, take showers, talk on the phone, and look on TikTok. And watch TV. And watch TV. Okay. What is my favorite TV Netflix show? This person said Surviving Summer. I don't even know what that is. Currently, of all time, favorite TV Netflix show. I don't know. You don't know what my favorite TV show I mean, is of you life. Just, well, just like, name one of them. I mean, you currently are obsessed with like Vanderpump Rules, so. How much am I talking about it on this trip? <laughs> I mean, like, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> He's already watched it, so I'm like asking You're asking me questions that are from like 10 years ago, seven years ago. So they've, remember they've already like, left my memory because it's not worth holding on to those memories. <laughs> like, <laughs> Your favorite TV show of life is 190,000% Gossip Girl. He has yeah. watched it down here while we were down here. He has watched the last episode the ever last and two. was crying. Oh, that's something that makes you cry. The end of Gossip Girl. When the girl, and I find, I look at him, he's like tears in his eyes. And I go, is the girl comes on and she goes, XO, XO, Gossip Girl. I go, oh, is that it the girl that's behind that the part. voice? It was the part where they got married, yeah. where Blair and Chuck got married. 
Oh, I hope I didn't ruin that for anybody. This is the Gossip Girl that came out 22 years ago. But I look over ago. and he's like crying. I'm like, I cannot believe that you cry during Gossip Girl. You love that show so much. I mean, he has probably watched Gossip Girl. How many times do you think you've watched the entire series? Um, five times. No, you've easily watched it more than that. No, five times. How many times the new ser series? Twice each season. And you were pretty devastated when it got canceled, weren't you? No. Okay, uh, uh. Is it 4 p.m. already? Oh no, it's a screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> we never said we were the, sh the sharpest knives in the drawer. Okay, um, if I became famous, what would it be for? This person put singing or painting. <laughs> oh my god, I'm knowing this girl. I'm gonna let her have it! She thinks she's gonna get famous singing, and we just watched all those Kim Zolzniak videos of her singing Don't Be Tardy to the Party. I don't like her. Okay, what do you think if I was famous for, I would be famous for? Um, this is a very easy question. I don't know. Acting. Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. Beast! I'm... Acting. YouTube famous now! Um, if you were famous for anything, you would be famous for, I actually think that you would end up going on some reality show. Oh, really? Yeah, and being real lippy. You got lots of, he has lots of catchphrases, like constant, and not like stolen catchphrases like me. Like, all my catchphrases are stolen. All of his are, like, not. He has, like, a lot of catchphrases. Very original, so you're saying? Very original. What TV I'm show right. do you think it'll be? Like, an existing You would never one, do it. Like you would one. never do it, but you would be great on Survivor or Big Brother. I would love to do the Amazing Race. We we would not make it. We would fight through the whole thing. But he, the thing is, like about, individual, like well, Amazing Race is a couple, as you know that. Oh. But are oh, you didn't know that? I don't. He doesn't. Know. Watch I mean, I thought it was race. just like the thing is, hair. he would do anything on Amazing Race, and I wouldn't do want to do anything. So I wouldn't eat weird stuff. Well, I would eat. The, yeah. Well, unless well, there they always it's like bugs and stuff. And I'm a vegetarian, so you would do good on. I don't think actually you would do good on Big Brother, not Survivor. House of Villains, you'd be good on House of Villains. Am I a villain? You are kind of a villain. Yeah, sorry, babe. I love you, but... Okay. Um, well, what, Big Brother, if you're watching. What makes you proud of me? I, people always ask me all the time why I don't want an audition for Big Brother. I don't want to be away from you and Boo for six weeks. You'll be fine. See, that's exact. I knew he would say that. He'd be like, just go on the show. Win us a million dollars. <laughs> okay. Uh, what makes you proud of me? What makes me proud of you, I mean, in addition to your commitment to sobriety and helping those in the program, um, your, like, your desire and your drive to continue to, like, live, you know, each day. Oh, I appreciate that. You're welcome. Um, what makes me proud of you? So many things make me proud of you. I think the thing that is consistently the prod my proudest of you is how, how much you challenge yourself to continue to grow and change like all the time, like in work and in health and in learning and things like that. Like you're re he's reading this book here for work and I was asking him about it yesterday. I'm like, are you bored with it? And he's like, no, it's like interesting and I'm learning and stuff like that. I'm sitting here reading this like fiction book, you know, or listening to it on Audible. And I like, you constantly challenge yourself. And I remember early on when we were together and we were sitting on the couch, it no longer exists in our living room. And I said something to you. I said, what's something that you love about me? And you said, you make me want to be a better person. I, he never remembers when I say this to him. But I mean, I've said, I know that I've said that. And, and like that meant so much to me. And I think one of the things that you've taught me through the years is to be a better person. To be a better person, yes, absolutely, but to constantly challenge myself, too. That, you know, like, you can always do better than you're doing, you know? I think, yeah. And, and I, I, honestly, I think you get that from your mom, because I think your mom is somebody that is constantly challenging herself, and at the same time just really loves and enjoys life. I think all of her sons have encompassed that, you know? Totally. All right. Okay. Uh... Where can I be... Where can I most likely be found? Doing what? At home, where can I most likely be found? It depends on the time of day. <laughs> Anytime before 2 p.m. in the bedroom sleeping. Not 2 p.m. Okay, 1.30. Is that closer? Okay, we're after 2 p.m. on the front um, porch. On the front porch <laughs> or on the couch filming. I don't film the couch really ever. 
What? In that chair, but I don't film that chair. You know what you just learned is that my husband doesn't watch any of my videos. Okay. No need. <laughs> no need. Okay. Where can I be found? Where can you be found? When you're at home, <laughs> laying in bed with Boo Radley right next to you over here, with his head up over your leg like this, and you scrolling through TikTok. Okay. Or doing work calls, or FaceTiming with your girlfriends. We take a lot of naps. And if I'm not home? Where can you be found if you're not home? Well, at work. Mm -hmm. And you work such long hours. And then, if not at work, probably having some champs with your girlfriends. <laughs> some what? champs. Watching Gossip Girl. He got real sad because he was like, I was telling him about my predictions video, and he goes, well, what are your, we were talking about predictions and stuff, like his girlfriends, and I go, well, I think this one's going to get engaged this year, and this one, and I think they're actually probably going to be at the same time, and then he said something about it, and I go, oh, and she's going to get engaged, and the look on his face was like, oh, shit, he goes, well, I'm going to marry them all, but then the look before that was like, I'm losing three girlfriends in one year. I'm not. <laughs> it doesn't matter who's going to do group of them. Okay. Uh, what is my favorite restaurant? Puccini's. Well, Piata. <laughs> I was like, actually, what do I eat the most of at home that's not from, like, a restaurant? Well, aside from me, oh, my God. What if, like, if I'm sitting there eating TV on the chair on the ottoman, what do I have in front of me? It's a Venezuelan salad. <laughs> Stop. What do I have it's from Costco that's in front of me? Oh, my God. Those fucking dips. <laughs> I love the dips. Okay, your favorite restaurant... God, you're so bougie, though, these days. Well, you love that whole, like, to go out to, like, dinner or have drinks with your girlfriends, you go to the Fisher's District. Like, H3 Tavern or, um, oh, you love that steakhouse, 1933. But at downtown, or you like Livery. Livery is, like, one of our favorite places. I haven't been there in a long time yeah. now. You like to, Alex likes to try new restaurants. He loves to try new restaurants. Okay, um, where is one place I don't like to be? She put home on here. <laughs> <laughs> Where's one um, place I don't like to be? You don't like to be in very crowded places where you don't know the language. I don't think the language bothers me. I don't like to be in crowded places. Well, it's not the language that bothers you. It's just the n unknown with especially so many people. Like, That's just true. not knowing. Do you want to share with everybody my, one of my goals for 2024? Jesse and I, my sister-in-law, our goal and what I just bought. Tickets. <laughs> to learn Spanish and bought this program that he's gonna learn Italian on supposedly. I'm actually learning French because of this one country we're going to. So I already told him that we're going to Belgium for tomorrow. Tomorrow land. None of you are invited. <laughs> Alex, everybody's invited. Okay, where is one place you don't like to be? Where is one place you do not like to be? Work. Okay, work. <laughs> you shouldn't have said that on the video, but... It's okay. I mean, they know that. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just kidding. I love If that. I could go anywhere, where would it be? Her answers are so basic. She said far, far away. Boy, it doesn't really matter what she answers. She's not <laughs> part of this video. She is now. Well, you made it. Uh, person? Um, I don't know, like some island, like the Caribbean or like Fiji. For me? Where would you like to be? Yeah, not be just 24 hours away on a play, flight. That's what Well, you don't want to be in the flight, but you want to be there. Oh, I would be there. Yeah, absolutely. I would love just The anywhere. question is... Anywhere on the beach, unless it's the week before Christmas, and then I want to be, like, in some kind of, like... Like, all those pictures I post on Instagram, like, little houses out in the middle of nowhere. And, like, a tree, and you're, like, a squirrel. If you could be anywhere, where would you be? Well, right now, at this uh, music festival in Tulum that he couldn't get tickets to. Which, this is called Honesty in a Marriage. I said to him last night, we were staying at this bar out here. Which, it's very, very, like, busy in this bar last night. We couldn't really figure out why there's so many people here. There's a waterproofing convention um, that all these people, like, one trips here. <laughs> so, there's all these people there. And they're playing, like, whoo, there it is. Whoo, there it is. That's not the kind of music they usually play It's, like, 2,000 wedding yeah. reception so, in the Midwest. So... Alex and I are talking, and he said something about, like, we would be at the music festival right now. We would have left right now to go to it or something like that because it's in Tulum. And that had been our plan was to get tickets to go to this music festival while we were down here. And um, I said to him, I said, 
well, I have to be honest with you about something. Because that's what marriage is about, is honesty, right? And he goes, what? And I said, well, I would have gone, and I would have been happy to go, but he goes, and he interrupted me, and he goes, do you think that you could have made it, what time did it start, 4 p.m. or something? Till 6 a.m. Till 6 a.m., and I said, I would have done it for you, because I knew you wanted to go, so I would have done it for you, and he was like, really? And I was like, yeah. And I said, but in all honesty, I'm not really that sad that you didn't get tickets to it. Well, I asked It would have been him, a long, it would have been a long day. Like, two months in advance, or like three months in advance, he's like, I don't know, I'll have to think about it. And then, like, literally, like, two weeks before, he's like, okay, like, I guess like, we can go if you want. I'm like, it it sold out. Like, I, I waited to hear from you, and then... I never said that. I, I, I said you could do whatever you wanted to do, baby, but we could go. No, that's the truth right now. That's called... Well... <laughs> <laughs> See, you just... Staying... I'm not sad about it. I'll t I mean, hey, listen, I'm not sad. You're just staying silent long enough, and the truth comes out of his mouth. <laughs> I'm not sad <laughs> Oh God, all the haters just came out. All the haters like, see, Peter just stay silent, then you can catch him in his lies. I didn't say catch him in his lies, I said the truth will come out. <laughs> okay, so when I'm off camera, this is not on the questionnaire, but like when I'm off camera, am I like behind the scenes going, okay, so this is what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna take down this person, I'm gonna create this light, I'm gonna manipulate No, this. you could care less. <laughs> like, when I'm off camera, less. when I'm off camera, who do I talk to the most? Boo. Boo and the neighbors. Yeah. Caroline and Tanya, and I'm sitting on the front porch. Oh, yeah. And it's not even about <laughs> whatever is happening. I mean, you could, you could care less. I'm casting spells out there about drama. I mean, if anyone's casting spells, it's me. <laughs> okay. We're not going to get into that because he used to think that he was part of Coven when we would watch Coven. Okay. Uh, how much do I know of you? 98%. <gasps> <laughs> what part does not annoy you? <laughs> You're dead. Ah! I thought you were going to say just the tip. Okay, um... The whole thing. How much do you annoy me? You don't really annoy me that much, but I will say something that's funny. It's like, when you move in with somebody, you, like, learn things about them that you didn't know about them before. And, like, when we moved in together, one thing about Alex was... Actually, learned two valuable lessons. I've shared this before. Number one is that he walks very heavy. Um, he's, his legs are very muscular. You do walk very heavy. I do not. You walk very You heavy. walk heavy. Okay. So Alex used to dance for the Fever in Indianapolis as a women's basketball team. And he was on the, the, that's what his high school job was. And so he has very muscular legs, okay? The other thing was that I try to like organize everything. I've talked a lot about my OCD and things like that on my videos. So when we moved in together, his side of the room, his folds, his clothes are very organized, but he had this laundry basket that it kind of gets a little out of hand. And so I would say something about it. And finally one day he was just like, can you just let me have my side of the room and you can have your side of the room? And I was like, you know what? I can do that. And I think it's like a marriage is a lot about negotiating, you know, and like just like letting the other person know what you need and, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm changing my answer. What'd you say? 98%? 99% you annoy me. That's perfect. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 it gets even better. How do you annoy me? How, how do you annoy me? How do, how do I annoy you? <clears throat> um, oh, no, 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 you have to answer it like, how do you? How I annoy you. Yes. Um, I annoy you <laughs> by the fact that I, when I get home, I'm done with work and he's Still working. Yeah. So I get to relax and then he compares his work and work time to mine and then he's like, you just get to relax and do nothing and lounge around while I'm sitting here working and I'm like, well, I was working at 7 a.m. and you were just lounging around, sleeping, doing nothing and I don't Time do that. Time is not great for me because I like to watch shows very, very late. You know what's so interesting is on this trip, I've gone to bed rather early on this trip compared to what I usually do. But that's also for... So am I right? Well, no, because, I mean, in all honesty, I mean, how much do I love what I do? Like, I mean, I feel so blessed that I have my job. He knows that. Um, and, but, like, he comes home, and I'm like, okay, I, I still have these videos that I want to make, and I, I wish I, it, it's all me. Like, he's right. I mean, I'll be like, I wish I had gotten up two hours earlier, because then I'd be done, you know? So, he's right. Oh, wait. How do you annoy me? Asking the same questions over and over again and asking if you're okay. 
That's one way. <laughs> if I ask him a question, like, and I ask it again, he'll say, you just asked him that five minutes ago, my answer hasn't changed. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. he's a smart ass. Oh, look who's calling. It's Cousin Caroline. I wish I answered it. <sighs> okay. Um... Oh, who's my favorite person? Boo Radley. Boo Radley's your favorite person, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you get a call that I am in trouble. <laughs> who am I with? <laughs> who are you with? Yeah, like, who, who did I get in Who am I going get, to get the most trouble with? I don't know. I mean, like, Caroline, I guess. Caroline, you think? Over Tanya? You and Tanya will not get in trouble. <laughs> because we're too smart. No. <laughs> Why, what do you, if Caroline and I got in trouble, what would we get in trouble for? Um, I don't know, something to do with Costco <laughs> and whatever you purchase at Costco. <laughs> okay. Or whatever Caroline purchases at Costco. If I got a call from you that you were in trouble, I mean, nobody knows you're, you're from some kind of afraid to say it on here. Um, well, then don't, because I don't need them to be like looking them up and following them and Stalking people that don't need to be stalking. No, I won't say it, but you know who it is. <laughs> Did I, I don't know. <laughs> Look. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Am I right? I'm right, 100%. Okay. I mean, I we you did get a call. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> years ago. That was years ago. And no, it's not Sarah. It's not Sarah. If I went to jail, would you come bail me out? Yeah. You would? Yeah. Have we ever had this conversation with you and I? You wouldn't bail me out. No, I wouldn't bail you out. Okay, so. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. It would depend on what it was for. And this is what that person says, too, and they got away with it. It says it depends. It all depends. I mean, if he got into a fight, a bar fight, in a bar, drunk or something like that, I would that, never no, get into I wouldn't, a fight. I wouldn't come bail him out. Like, you know? I would lose. I would be in the hospital if I got into a fight. I am not a fighter, physically. Well, you've thrown a few drinks in people's face back in our early days. Yeah, but I'm not we were, okay. throwing punches. So we were in... I'm also almost 40. I'm not I know. Well, this, I'm talking about 15 years ago. So like the first six months that we were dating, Alex and I See, were... At, the past. This is a funny story, though. Alex and I were at this bar that we met at, or that like I'd seen him at first and sent this message. And we were there, and we were all on the dance floor, right? And so... It was Alex and myself and his two good friends. And Alex's ex was there, who everybody's civil now, but they did not get along back then, okay? I mean, it was literally like rival groups. And um, so Alex is like, let's go up on the stage and dance. There's like a stage and then there's like a dance floor. And it was literally like 10 people on the stage. So we go up on the stage and dance. I have no idea what's going on, right? Alex is drinking something like, in all honesty, nothing that he would ever drink, and it was like vodka cranberry. And so we're on stage, and he's it like was, dancing like it this. Was like vodka Red Bull. Well, whatever it was, or, or some, Long Island, one of those. It was two. something that had some color to it because his ex, because I don't drink, so I'm seeing this happen in slow motion, right? And I notice his ex is right below us with his girlfriend, okay? And um, you're already getting the story completely wrong. Well, whatever happened, you poured the drink over. You went like this, ooh, like that, like as you were dancing, like ooh like on his head, okay? <laughs> Alex's ex has no hair, he's bald. So it kind of just like, it went and then Alex also dropped the cup, the cup bopped off his head and the whole crowd saw it and it was actually really funny. <laughs> but everybody's nice. Now, I actually saw him in a grocery store years ago, I've shared this, and I like talked to him forever and I was like kind of like trying to get away from the aisle. I was like, you know, if you weren't Alex's ex, we'd actually probably be friends. But, um, okay. It's weird. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's one thing that I tell you I want to do all the time? Nap. I'm having a hard time napping recently, though. Do you still want to do it? Okay, what's one thing that you want to do all the time? Buy, buy something. He'll, like, look at something. He'll be Move like, oh, it's Spain. You don't say that all the time. No, that's not true. He'll, he'll show something. He'll be like, oh, I really want this. But, like, I shouldn't. And then I'll be like, look at it five minutes later. I'll be like, what are you doing? He's like, I had to get it. I'm like, what? And he's like, I had to get it. Like, I really want it. I'm like, okay. I put myself in spending prison for the first six months of 2024. Yeah. Okay. We'll see how that works out for both of us. I days. have to. What's my favorite holiday? Halloween. Your favorite holiday is your birthday. 
My birthday's not a holiday. Okay, what's your favorite holiday? <clears throat> we used to love Halloween. Oh, Christmas, you... Alex looked at me. I was looking at him. He looked at the camera and he goes... Recording stopped. <laughs> well, I don't know what your favorite holiday is then. What is it? I don't have a favorite holiday. Easter? Well, you have to pick one. Uh, yeah, Easter. <laughs> because I have risen. Um... I don't know. I mean, I don't really have a holiday. I mean, I just like any time off, I like. Christmas. You like Christmas sure. with your family. Okay. What's one of my main goals in life? This person is really trying to kiss her significant other's ass because she put to be a good and loyal girlfriend. <laughs> does, that, does that mean that she's not right now? Is that your goal like, for me is to be a good and loyal girlfriend? <laughs> no, because you already are. <laughs> you to me! Oh, okay, what is your one? What is my one? What is one of my main goals in life? Um, I mean, you're definitely you're wanting to like be healthy, and it, <laughs> I'm a, trying. A goal sure. that you're wanting to is just just be one of these like like silver fox like GQ models. That <laughs> I don't think I ever say that. That is not. You one of are my like goals. I'm gonna lose so much weight and I'm gonna get so fit and then I'm gonna get casted and I want to be like one of like Do you know how many people four are models like and then I'm just gonna be like the the silver fox of the pages of Vogue and I'm like Do you know how many people are gonna believe you because you're saying this? I never then said they're that. dumb if they believe but me. But what was I doing last night playing that? I always pronounce his name wrong. Is it Jason Imraz or Mraz? What was I doing the Miss America? Oh, you want to be Miss America. I do want to be. Well, I don't really want to be Miss America anymore because now I watch that Secrets of the Miss America organization. Okay, I don't you really want to be crowned. At a, you want to win a beauty pageant. I would, though. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have always wanted to. But, what, okay, seriously, what's one of my main goals in life? Um, I mean, to always maintain, like, a healthy, like, sober life. That's a daily one um but i don't know like a recent one that you've brought focus on again is to finish organizing and clearing out the basement the basement yeah that's a big goal what's one big goal for you in your life Well, I mean, we have, you have a lot. Like, you've always wanted to have a place in Miami. We, we always talk about that. But we've also talked about San Diego recently. Um, going to all, as many music festivals as you possibly could. If Alex tomorrow had $10 million in the bank, he would, it'd be, he'd be gone constantly to music festivals. Um, what is your job? Well, I don't know what a, a big goal of yours in your life is. Well, getting healthy. We were just talking about that the other day. We've been trying to walk down here. I've been very proud of us. We've walked a lot, like an hour every day. And you said that you're going to get back into doing your, like, hot Pilates works. and hot yoga and all that kind of stuff. So, that's a goal of ours. Getting healthy, I think, is a big goal of ours this year. Okay, and I think this might be the last one. Money. What made you, what made you fall for me? I thought you had a car. <laughs> you had a car. I didn't have a car. Yes, you did. Oh, no, you I... didn't. When we got together, you had just gotten in that. You had, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was either a car or going back to college, so I went back to college. Yeah. But what made me fall? That's in probably love. one of the proudest things I ever of you is that you worked full time and paid for your own college. That's probably one of the things I'm the, full, the proudest of, of you. And double majored and made Dean's List. And I had two internships. And two internships. It's probably one of the proudest things I am of you. Okay. But that's not the reason that you fell in love with, you fell in love with me. No. I mean, it helps. <laughs> uh, what made me fall in love with you? Um, okay, I gotta tell this. Your persistence in wanting to hop on this relationship train. Is that really what made you fall in love with me? It's not something like my beautiful eyes or how sweet I am or how loving and kind I am. No. 
Okay, well, th what made us last all these years? You're persistent in wanting to like make this happen. <laughs> Shut up. What? I mean, like if you like, love is not enough in a relationship. Okay, you have like, to be persistent and you have to be committed. You, you have to persistent? be focused. Yeah. If whose idea? Whose idea? If was I wasn't it? persistent, then I wouldn't be here. Okay. Whose idea was it to go to marriage counseling? Mine. Yeah. That's called persistent. <laughs> okay. I think what made me fall in love with you was. Um, that you have one of the finest asses I've ever seen. No. It's but, so flat right now. But there was something I was going to, there was a story I was going to tell now, I can't remember what it was. Oh, I, actually we just told this to a couple that we met down here not too long ago, or a couple days ago. So I got to share this story. I actually share this on my vlog quite a bit. So when Alex and I got together, we were, I'm going to tell the edited version of the story. So it's we were really going bored. out to dinner a lot. Did you say you're really bored? I'm already bored. Shut up. <laughs> we were going out to dinner a lot and whatever, okay? So like I said, dividing factors, okay, of Alex and his ex that like split the this bar in half, like. So we would go out and be like all of his ex's friends coming up to me and being like, oh, you're dating Alex and he's a gold digger and blah, 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 and all this kind of stuff, right? And so <clears throat> I said to my friend, I have a friend, you know, that's uh, similar in age to me, and I said something, he goes, Alex doesn't impress me at all that he's a gold digger. Like, I don't think that about Alex. And so I was like, well, I don't really know what to do, blah, 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 whatever. Mind you, I was 36, had quite a bit of debt, which I've shared in my vlog as well, and it wasn't like I was rolling in money. Okay, let's just make that very clear. And so he said, well, just stop going out to dinner and buying gifts and stuff like that, and then you'll find out, you know, if that's what it's about. So, like, two weeks go by, we haven't gone out to dinner anywhere or anything like that, maybe three weeks, and Alex said to me, he goes, I got him really mind, but can I ask you a question? I was like, yeah, what? And he was like, like we haven't gone out to dinner in a while. Like, and, he, and I wasn't paying for every dinner. He was paying for some of them too. And now we like kind of like, he pays for one, I pay for one or two or whatever. It just kind of goes back and forth. But back then, I was like um, paying for most of them. And so he was like, we're just not going out to dinner as much anymore. Did something happen? Like I'm confused. So of course, I have to be always honest about everything and like to the point of like being too, too honest. And so I said... You are so bored, aren't you? <laughs> this story, you've heard it nine million times. And so I was like, well, all these people are saying that you're a gold digger or whatever. <laughs> you wouldn't tell them what you said. <laughs> if I was digging for gold, I would dig deeper. I would dig deeper. He's like, I'd find a man that was going to put me up in my own condo and buy me a car. He was like, trust me. He was like, this is, he goes, this is, this is not the gold digging that I was looking for. So, and here we are 15 years later. It's, you know, it's so weird. Still searching for that gold. Still searching for that gold. I have to tell you what's one of the weirdest things though I think about being together this long is like when we're out in public places and like listening to other conversations like when there's a bar and you see like couples and they're like talking about like, oh, we've been married for like seven years now. And we're like, we've been married for like 12. Like we've been together 15. Like it's a really long time. Yeah. I think it's time to trade you in. I agree with you. I need to trade up. Trade up? <laughs> it's not bad. I just brushed my teeth. <laughs> that was not cute. We're editing you... that part out. Okay. I just brushed my teeth. <laughs> I just brushed my teeth. Oh, that part is what you want to edit out. You don't want to like trade out like the <laughs> fact that you want to you want to trade me out. I don't want to trade you out. I love you. Thank you. Are you gonna trade me out still? Yeah. <gasps> I love you. Thanks for another video. All right, you guys. Uh, love you, and I will see you in my next video. Say bye.